What is up guys, Stefan95 Vacation here with the uh, update for Teledad. So yeah, let's jump right onto it. Um, so here is the decklist. I didn't make the replays because I don't really play that much online. A few match in a month. In a month, so yeah. Um, I'm more of a real life player or something. So yeah, we have one Dark Arm Dragon, of course, um, to clear your opponent's fields, and yeah, it's basically easy to summon in this deck. Um, triple Malicious for that Synchro combos, because all you have to do is to dump him on the grave and then the combo already starts. And then, yeah, you need to have Creepons or, you know, like, um, Dasher because you have quite a lot of monsters it's a 25 monster count here and you will usually like draw a monster so you can special summon him with the dasher um, diamond did just one plus destiny hero and you have how many normal spells one two three four five six seven eight nine normal spells so yeah we have some chances to hit one of those Defender, because as his name says, he is a quite big defender. So he can survive, then you just you can play some other level 4 rank into the Volo Chain or something. Um, triple Creebons, because of course this is Teledad, Emergency Teleport and Dad are quite uh, main cards. So it's uh, he's a really really good tuner because he can stay and survive on the field as long as he can. Uh, he can survive all of the death battles, of course, if you have um, life points to spare on him. Uh, triple Black Spur Zombie, usually dumped to the grave because Mizuki can return him, Book of Life, or Zombie Master but he can uh, return himself and yeah that's pretty much good uh, goblin zombie double goblin zombie uh, basically to search for plague or zombie master you can search mizuki as well yeah um, double zombie master for turning the plague spreader so you can you know return in him once with him and once with his effect from the grave and double militia so that's double level 8 uh, one Mizuki, I play just one because I know it. he is not such an important card and he's a art. So yeah, that's kind of stalls, you know, you cannot get rid of him if you're in uh, some trouble. Or, you know, you cannot dump him with Graffer and such things. Uh, double Necroface to recycle all, all of your banished cards as well of your opponents but yeah that's kind of bad so yeah uh, basically when you do the combos your two malicious will be banished and one will be in the grave so you just normal summon necroface return or yeah you will probably have one of him banished return all of the deck and you i know you have let's say emergency teleport you can then uh, uh, call another malicious and you you know uh, <coughs> restart your combos uh, double Graffer. The best place with him is when you have, I don't know, Malicious in your hand or Plague, you just discard it, discard one, uh, one of those in the deck, off the deck, or you can just uh, send the Dasher from the deck or you know. <coughs> And you can, yeah, special summon him if you discard uh, level 5 or higher Dark Monster. So these are those two. Those two. And that if your graveyard is full of shit. Um, Armageddon Knight, basically I use him in combo with Summer the Monk, but Summer the Monk can also call any level 4. So yeah, Summer the Monk is pretty good card because we have 15 spells and sometimes uh, Destiny Draw isn't that good because usually you play how much 6 Destiny Heroes and you like yeah send to the grave most of them so yeah emergency teleport um for rebounds uh, then triple destiny draw 
uh, for yeah, for, for Destiny Heroes, mainly for this too. I mean, mainly for him if he had he had that school. Um, triple MST because you you must defend yourselves from I don't know from that Solon's Solon's or some shit finish chains that will ruin your combos. Um, Night Beam, of course, one more card for protection. Uh, Book of Life. I run only one because when I played two, it was like cloggy all the time. You know, you draw one in your first turn and you cannot just play it until your zombie dies or something. It's better at one, so you can just draw some other cards. Maybe it will help in the combos. Uh, one all over darkness, darkness, of course. Really, really helpful. Uh, Rhoda for the warrior propose, so mainly for Graffer, but yeah. One dark hole to clear the field, then just uh, splash your combos on the field of your monsters, and then attack. Um, one foolish burial, of course. Mainly for Mizuki, because he's art. Neither of these guys can bring him to the grave. Only Lavalo Chain and foolish burial. So for the extra deck, we have one uh, HTS Psychomet, uh, really really good card, uh, uh, every time that I go for a level 6 synchro play I call first for him, because he's such a good card, you can banish bonus monster after the mage compilation, it's really cool. Um, Guy and I, the force of art, of course, uh, double bells, because he's a pretty, pretty strong motherfucker. Um, yeah, he can mess up with your opponent's deck if your opponent doesn't find a way to get rid of him. Best way to get rid of him is uh, like, uh, how is that called, Phoenix Feather Duster or something like that. Wing Wind Blast, something like that. Phoenix, yeah, Wing Wind Blast or Dimensional Prison. Or I know if some plays Karma Cut or something, they could cite that. Uh, then Scrap Dragon. Uh, that is pretty amazing combo because you most of the time uh, call two synchros in one turn. So you call Bells, then Scrap. Scraps effect target Bells and I know some random opponent's card. Uh, you destroy that card, but Bell survives because he can be destroyed by Bell and uh, card effects. So one Stardust, you know, Stardust, uh, Dark and Dragoon, uh, Dragon, because he's a really helpful, you know, they have a big guy, they summon big guy, uh, take control of your battles, then you just uh, uh, summon a Dragoon, a Dragon, and Dark, Dark and Dragon, and just get rid of that battles, it's plus you can get rid of any monster they have, it cannot be destroyed, I know, by car effects battle or something. Um, it's really good against battling boxers, but because Lee Diok, you know, he's, a, he's that little shit that just stays on the field with higher and higher attack. Void Ogre Dragon, because sometimes you don't have uh, cards in your hand and he's good protection versus spell traps. Colossal Fighter, because he has a really big attack and if they can manage to destroy him in battle he can return himself that's really cool um, crimson blader to stop uh, that uh, level five higher monsters so dark rollers dragon rollers and i know um i don't know that very well the decks mermails yeah and such things uh, Lolo Chain, mainly for sending him, him, or him to the grave. Um, San Honor Arc, uh, always good. Mace Chuck, uh, Diamond Arrow, and Cowboy. Uh, I don't play Extinction Knight because I don't really need him. I don't know. This deck is pretty good without him. I mean, yeah. So, yeah, that was it. I hope you liked the video, so yeah, see you guys next time.